But that is it. Full time. Sheffield United nil. Arsenal 6. It's a slap down. It's just a slap down. What an easy game this was for Arsenal. They completely destroyed Sheffield United in this game. In the first, I don't know, in the first 15 minutes, we've seen three goals. Erdegaard with the first goal. Bogo with an own goal. And then Martinelli made it 3-0. In the first 15 minutes of this match, it was a complete control from start to finish by Arsenal. Yes, Sheffield United is one of the worst teams in the Premier League. Let's be real. Let's be real. They are placed 20th for a reason. They are one of the worst teams in the Premier League. But you still got to go out there and win the game. And Arsenal have done that. Congrats to Arsenal. Now they have closed the gap on Liverpool and Manchester City to just uh, one point. One point with Manchester City and two points with Liverpool. So that's a big showdown coming up now. Liverpool against Manchester City. If there is a draw there and Arsenal win their next game, which is against Brentford, then it puts Arsenal in the map. Really puts them in a very good position. So they'd be hoping to see a draw between Manchester City and Liverpool next week. But as for now, Arsenal have gotten all three points in this match. And they are now third in the Premier League. Their next game, like I said, is against Brentford. So that could be a challenging game compared to this one. Sheffield United... What are you going to say about them? They're going to get relegated. For sure, they are going to get relegated. They are 20th. They lost last week, and now they're losing again at home. Two or three games in a row now, they have lost by five goals at home. So it's just not looking good. But they're, they're going to be going away uh, to play against Wolfman uh, on Saturday, March the 9th. But crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, easy match. Easy match for Arsenal. Erdegaard on the score sheet, like I said, Bogle, Martinelli, Havertz, Declan Rice, and even Ben White. Even Ben White scored in this match. I mean, the goalkeeper could have scored in this match if he played as a striker. That's how bad Sheffield United were tonight. That's just one of the worst games I've seen uh, in the Premier League this season, or in any season, if I can remember. Uh, James says the title race is good. Yeah, title race looks good. Arsenal still in it mathematically they're still in it but we will see we'll, we, we will definitely see what's going to happen in the next few weeks that's going to be decided Arsenal also have a game uh, against Manchester City so that's going to define where Arsenal will finish in the Premier League where they're going to be finishing in the Premier League but in this match complete domination complete domination like I said ball possession 81% everything it's a complete annihilation, especially in that first half. They just destroyed Sheffield United. But yeah, they're going to be uh, focusing on the next game, like I said, against Brentford at home. That's going to be on Saturday. Uh, and then after that, they do have that Champions League game against Porto. They lost the first leg against Porto. That's a must-win game if they want to advance at the Champions League uh, quarterfinal. So big games coming up for Arsenal. Big games for coming up for Arsenal. Make sure you let me know your matter to match in this game. I'm going to give it to Edegaard. I think Erdegaard and Havertz, it's, it's a close call to call, but I think I'll give it to Erdegaard. But you guys let me know in the comment sections who's your man of the match in this game. But as always, make sure you smash a like on the stream. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But yeah, guys, that is it. I will see you on the next one. Tomorrow I'm going to be live for the PSG versus Fire Associated game in the Champions League, so make sure you join us for that one. That is it, people. That is it. See you. Peace.